Hi, Cizrain here with another video, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the recent Diablo 4 controversy about the Statue of Lilith Hardcore Race. So for those that don't know, the first 1,000 people to reach level 100 on Hardcore mode and tweet Diablo 4 Hardcore with proof to have your username immortalized on a Statue of Lilith. They're making this big-ass statue in real life, probably they're going to show off at BlizzCon, Obviously, this is something people think is really, really cool, and this is what you can win by being one of the first thousand people to reach level 100 on Hardcore. Now, when does this race start? Does it start in Season 1 that starts a month after uh, Season 0 launch? No, it actually starts on Season 0. So this starts at launch, which means that you can pay $20 to start a few days early, which is already a very, very big problematic thing. And on top of that, you also have that a lot of content creators are now coming out and saying that they've been able to play, I believe somebody said they've played a thousand hours already of Diablo 4, and a lot of content creators have on their stream said that they have an exact plan for themselves to what to do in the race and, and how to get level 100 and be one of the first racers. Now, this is obviously very, very impactful for those of us that aren't in the race, and let alone the fact that you're you're actually right, the people that are saying there aren't that many content creators, there's less than 20, less than 30 probably, that are competitive racers that have had access, right? But content creators aside, people can pay $20 to start the race four days early, which is obviously a huge deal. I feel like this definitely contradicts what they said with Diablo 4 was not going to be pay to win. And I don't understand how you can justify Diablo 4 not being pay to win when now there is an official race. This is nothing to do with a ladder or anything like created by the players. This is an official race by the developers with an actual prize that you can pay $20 to start early. So this is increasingly frustrating for people that are in poor income regions for example brazil where it's multiple wages sorry multiple weeks wages to be able to buy just the basic version of the game and 20 dollars makes a very big difference there and obviously still people from those regions do want to enter and compete as well and something that added to this drama, we'll read out Rod Ferguson's tweet here. To all the Diablo 4 reviewers whose playtime is up and your character's progress is deleted, sorry, but can't wait to see you on launch day, only six days till early access. Uh, the, sa the Saga YouTube replied saying, can we talk about those same content creators competing in a race event you guys announced? This gives an extremely unfair advantage. This is not a new season and setting a new precedent of unfair advantages is not a good look. Rod replies saying, how does deleting all their progress, making them start at the same time as everybody else, give them an unfair advantage? Tai Tai Killer retweeted this and said, well, okay, we'll both start over fresh in Path of Exile and we'll do an Act 5 Kitava race. It's fair because we're starting at the same time. Now, obviously, we all know that the more you play a game, the more experienced and the more of an advantage. If you've gotten to practice the race for two weeks, you're obviously going to be better than people that are playing it fresh for the first time. So I replied saying there's a pretty big advantage for having experienced everything already. Path of Exile counters this by yes, you're welcome to experience and review things early, but if you do, you're unable to win competitions, which is pretty fair, and it doesn't impact journalists and content creators. There's obviously uh, a lot of value in letting people experience things and review things so they have reviews to hype up the game and stuff like that. Generally, Path of Exile does the same thing where you uh, there is like an alpha server and anywhere from like three days to six days before a new league comes up, some content creators are able to access this and play already. However, if they do, they're not able to enter any races at all. They're not able to win any prizes or anything. Um, and they're not able to make content before it is actually out. They're not even allowed to use alpha content. So they do actually have to record on the same server as everybody else, which I am a big fan of. I think that's a lot more fair. Doesn't give a huge advantage to those that have early access. I am one of the people that have early access in Path of Exile, and I haven't used that since like 2017 or 2018. When they actually asked me for feedback, that's when I was starting to organize more races, and Path of Exile was starting to have a more competitive scene, and they asked me, how do you feel about the fact that if we have people play on the alpha, they can't win competitions anymore? And I was like, that's an amazing point. Now that we're starting to have competitions, I think that's definitely what we should do. And when... We have started having competitions. I've also not been playing alpha since then because I don't want to have an advantage in a competitive space over anyone else. So I think that's very fair. Now, that being said, I've seen a lot of people have been suggesting, well, 
shouldn't all the content creators that have had access not be able to participate in the race then? Which I surprisingly don't think is the way to go. The reason I say that is because something like this would be really unfair to those content creators without knowing that they were losing the ability to participate in a race that they might otherwise have said, no, I will just not have that access and still participate in the race the same way I do with Path of Exile. Instead, I think the perfect solution here would be to postpone this race until season one and we have the Lilith race in season one that will equalize the playing field because season one doesn't start all the way until like a month later. That means that everybody has a chance to practice for one full month and even that playing field, then those content creators don't have a huge advantage anymore and everybody can like adapt around it. So I think that would generally be what I would suggest. So for those that don't know, me, Steel, Karn, and Noogie are going to be trying for first level 100. We are obviously going to be at a pretty big disadvantage. Seeing none of us have had early access at all. But that being said, we're still going to do our best and try as much as we can and just hope that we can out no life and learn really fast. And obviously a lot of the content from the content creators will be getting posted on the 30th. So we're going to try to deep dive and learn as much as we can ahead of start from what people know already and see if we can use that to our advantage. Either way, I just wanted to make this video talking a little bit about it. It's obviously something that's very important to me because I love racing and video games and there's nothing more exciting than the launch of a video game. And this definitely takes away a little bit from that with other people having had access and played everything. My favorite time of a video game is when nobody has had early access, nobody has had alpha, everything like that. And we're all exploring everything together, finding out things, you're hearing about like rumors somebody found something special whereas now it feels a little bit like well it sounds like everything is fully explored and already figured out and we're just going to get guides from people telling exactly how it is instead of getting guides over time from what people have learned so i'm definitely more of a fan of that like occurring naturally over time over a week or two after the game is launched than having everything ready to be posted two days before launch Either way, I would love to hear what you guys think. If you think my opinion is stupid, if you agree with it, either way, post it in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sub if you liked the video, but more importantly, try to die less than I do.